another fraction example from another CSEC, another CXC past paper. Simplify this. I want you to pause the video and simplify this fraction and let's see what you get and then we work through it together. So pause and go ahead. All right, you pause the video and you simplified it. What did you get as your answer? Let's see what would happen in this case. We have four and one third minus one and five six divided by one and three seven times one and two thirds. So go ahead and deal with it now. All right. So we have four and one third minus one and five sixths divided by one and three sevenths times one and two thirds. All right, let's see what happened now. We did change the mixed fractions to improper fraction. 3, 4 is 12 and 1, 13. 13 thirds minus 1 and 5, 6, 6, 1, 6, 6 and 5, 11. Divided by 6. Let's talk about this part a little. Why is it that 4 and 1 third is the same as 13 thirds? Because when you have 4 whole things, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1 third, you can say how many thirds do you have? This is telling you that it's 13 thirds you have. But is that really so? This one you have three thirds, three thirds, three thirds, three thirds, and then one third. So three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, thirteen thirds. Aha. So thirteen thirds. So you see the reasoning behind that. So, here, this one out of here now, 1 and 3, 7, 7, 1, 7, and 3, 10, so it's 10, 7, multiply it by 3, 1, 3, and 2, 5, so you have 5 thirds here. What we're going to do is look at one of these fractions at a time. You see the 13 thirds minus 11 sixths? Let us do the calculation and see what that amounts to. Right? So, 13 thirds minus 11 sixths. Let me space them out. Here now, 13 thirds minus 11 six. You could draw the line and find the LCM or use common denominators. What I'm going to do is use common denominators. And use common denominators here. You have the denominator over here is 6. But the denominator over here is 3. You're saying 13 thirds minus 11 sixths. It's like saying 13 apples minus 11 oranges. You can't say you're going to get two apples or two oranges. You must minus the same thing. Alright? So, let's see what happens. The 3, if we multiply it by 2, we get 6. So we're going to have something over 6. Minus 11 over 6. 
something 6 minus 11 6 what is this something if you multiply 3 by 2 we must multiply the 13 by 2 as well right balance so what we have then 13 to 26 so we have 26 6 so we have 26 1 6 minus 11 1 6 give us how many 1 6 and give us 15 6 15 1 6 so you see that 15 6 so all of this up here amounts to 15 6 Now what about this part down here? 10, 7 times 5 third. No. 10, 7 times 5 third. When you have more fractions and you multiply them, you're going to have numerator by numerator up top, divided by denominator by denominator down the bottom. So what you have here? 10 times 5 divided by 7 times 3. So you have 50 divided by 7 trees, 21. 50 divided by 21. So you see this part now is what this amounts to. 13 thirds minus 11 6 is really the same as 15 6. So you have 15 6 all over. All over what? The 10 7 times 5 thirds, it gives you 50 over 21. So it's 50 divided by 21. Now the question is, what you do at this point? You're going to have to say 15, 6 multiplied by, by what? It's not going to be 50 over 21, don't tell me that. It's going to be 21 over 50. 21 times 50. It is important that you know why. You multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator fraction. If you don't understand why, leave a comment. Now we see. So 15 6 times 21 over 50. Well, you can just say here 3 into 6 goes to 3 into 21, 7. And then 5 into 15, 3. 5 into 50, 10. So what you have is 3 divided by 2 times 7 divided by 10. Alright, now, you see that part? Just kind of reason it out. I don't want to just do it by rote, by memory. You must understand the reason why you can just cancel like that. Alright? You see the 15 6 times 21 divided by 50? You can divide it up like this. 15 is 3 times 5 times the 21 is 7 times 3. You see that? You see the 6? Is 3 times 2. Is 3 times 2. Let me put the 2 out here. And the 50 is 5 times 10. Right. And then 
you say this is three thirds times five fifth times seven ten times three over two, three into three one, three thirds three over three is one, three. five over five is one. So it's like one by one by three over two by seven ten. Right. So just did that to kind of understand the reasoning behind this part. We're not really in a race to finish this thing. I want you to understand each step. It's not an exam that we're in. We work fast. Understanding is the key. So each time you do something, you must know the reason why you do it and not just do it like a robot. Right? Don't just do it like a robot. You have to understand it. Robot is faster than you and do a lot more things than you without getting tired. Your advantage as a human being is to understand the thing. Some people say, understand the levels. Alright. So, 3 times 7 up top is 21. Divided by 2 times 20. So everything amounts to 21 divided by 20. This is the same as saying, how many 20s do you have in 21? You have one 20 in 21 and one left over. So the answer is 21 divided by 20 as an improper fraction. Or... 1 and 1 twentieth has a mixed fraction. Right. So what I want you to do now is to redo this thing and see if you can do it very quickly. If you can do it, I'll show all the steps in less than 3 minutes or 2. You could even try in, a, in less than 1 minute. Try to do this step all the steps in less than a minute right all the necessary steps because when exam time comes steps the mark for so you must show steps all right so that is it for now we'll see you in the next video